Yeah, so when Peyton Isaac uh, reached out to me, uh, obviously coming off a year sitting out because of a knee injury, and asked the question, what would it look like if she finished her fifth year of eligibility at Trinity? And I jumped at the chance. And I jumped at the chance because, you know, having coached against her and knowing uh, her reputation in Canada West, uh, she's a terrific athlete. She was obviously one of the players that helped her former program be successful. And I just felt like, you know, if this young lady could fit into our culture and, and was desiring to be part of our culture, because obviously she had heard some great things about our program, it, it was just going to be a great fit. And so I challenged her, I said, come to Peru with our team. And it took about four to five minutes for our whole team to really embrace her and say, wow, this kid fits. And not only does she fit, but she brings a level of maturity both on the field and off the field. Uh, I love her, her zealousness to grow spiritually. Um, I love the fact that she's got a really fresh and positive outlook on life. And I, I've always said to be great, you got to make players around you better. Uh, I think that's true in life. I think Peyton Isaac makes people around her better. Uh, and she's done that to our program and kind of timely because we've had some pretty you know, weird and, and hard injuries to deal with. And so the team Peyton came to join was a little bit different this fall than maybe what she even expected. But she's just taken it all in her stride and every day given everything in training and competes and uh, has lots of joy in her life. And it's never been easy, but to watch her overcome that knee injury where she's almost sat out for two years and then slowly and slowly and slowly get better and better, more comfortable in, in our program and being in our new culture, feeling like she really fits and she's a driving force. Can't say enough about who you are, Peyton. You're a wonderful young lady. Uh, you're a gift from God to our program at the right time. Uh, and I hope our, our program has been a gift to you because it seemed very, very natural that you would be a Spartan. I, I only wish probably deep inside that I had known a little bit about you before the whole university process and maybe you could have been a Spartan for longer, but thank you for leaving a, a wonderful mark on our program. It was short-lived, but more than short-lived, it was really uh, concentrated with excellence and we're really grateful that you came and joined our program and left your mark and trust me, other people now will look up to Peyton Isaac, the Spartan, and that's a testament to who you are. Yeah, Tilly has been um, just a wonderful servant to our program over the last five years and you know even the fact that she decided to come back and give it one more crack when she just graduated and has a really bright future both probably in soccer and then uh, in her career path but it's a testament to who she is she loves her teammates she loves you know the core that she's journeyed with over these last five years and so to come back and give of herself in so many different ways uh, speaks so volumes about just who she is as a person Tilly's always given everything. Um, you know, it's really funny, in the first year, going into her first semester as a Spartan, I kind of didn't hear from her very much in the summer and obviously traveling maybe a little bit or uh, not around as much, which we didn't expect, but I didn't really know what to expect. And wow, did this young lady not just show up and meet the expectations. She set the standards in terms of training mentality, in terms of her fitness base, her love to get better every training session. And she modeled what it looks like to be a Spartan on the field. Uh, and, you know, she's done that right the way through and had a great career, you know, had a couple different center back partnerships. Probably the sadness for me in that was, you know, she and Liz established an unbelievable partnership and then her and Jess Vance were solidifying that maybe to be one of the best partnerships ever uh, before Jess got hurt. So that was always a little bit sad, but Tilly was the constant in our back line and Tilly would just constantly bail us out, uh, whether it's to cover for somebody, to track down a forward, you know, making a run off a through ball. She just covered so well. She, she covers ground unbelievably. But she's so talented as well. So one of the best memories I have is we'd just been scored on against Laval National Semifinal and there's like two minutes left, maybe an injury time. And we knew that this young lady can attack and she loves to go past people. And so we put her wide out on the right. We got a ball in behind and she took a player on and got a ball in and we scored. And it was just a really good defining moment of this young lady is willing to do whatever it takes to help the Spartans to be successful on the field so she's played through a really tough injury this year and again that's a testament to her character and her love and her compete level and um, i think she'd do anything for this program and uh, i'm really grateful for the ways that she has contributed on the field and served off the field in different ways and uh, this year stepping into the role as a captain so that was new for her and it was new for the new captains 
and they did an admirable job in some really tough circumstances. So Tilly, thanks for coming back. Thanks for being part of a wonderful era of our program's history and for setting standards that uh, will be talked about for a long time. Well, I get a huge smile when I think about Olivia Kranchek, Cranny, that we affectionately call her. She is so well loved, uh, both by our current team, our peers, or some of her past teammates over the last five years. Um, just has experienced it all with the Spartans and uh, obviously came into our program during COVID. Uh, which was kind of probably weird for her, but uh, she handled that really well. And uh, it was fun for me as a coach to watch her establish with a core group of first years, some really tight knit relationships and friendships that have obviously continued and you know, been so much of the core of our team. Uh, but Cranny is a wonderful competitor. She's a great soccer player and has attributes that can actually have her play in a couple different positions, whether it's as a winger, sometimes the odd time as a 10. She'll probably say, well, you never play me there enough, but uh, she was just such an important part of our back four. And that back four changed quite a bit over time because of injury, but the mainstay of that you know, class was was really Cranny and then obviously Tilly and her close friendship there. But to watch Cranny blossom as a player, especially when the games got a little bit tougher and you know there was more at stake on the line, she just showed up in big moments. And she's a gamer. She's not scared to get stuck in. She's not scared to make advanced runs. She's not scared to recover and bail us out with a crucial block. Um, and she really plays with her heart on her sleeve. And her personality just couples the way she plays. She's full of uh, lots of energy. She's full of lots of um, spice in terms of, you know, not scared to mix it up verbally and, and uh, in terms of getting stuck in and just being a really tough player to play against because she bleeds and, and cares so much about our program and her teammates at the Spartans. So, Cranny, thank you. I can't say enough. You've been an amazing Spartan. Um, your career has had, again, injuries and dealt with lots of different ups and downs, but there have been so many good things. I'll never forget the moment when, you know, in the Canada, no, the national semifinal, we're playing Laval and, you know, a couple of the players started beaking off and you were taking it and you were giving it right back and you did it appropriately, but you actually held your ground. And that's probably one of the best ways to describe it. Not only did you hold your ground in terms of how you played, you just, you gave us steel, you gave us heart, you gave us passion. And uh, we've missed you this year. It's been a really tough senior year for you, but you've been a great captain and helping just grow the culture of our team. So thank you, Cranny. you've been a great sport. Yeah, when I think about Sarah Bazil and what she means to our program, to her teammates, to us as coaches, she's just really an inspiration. And it's been a joy for me, uh, obviously, to watch her come back after two, what seemed to be endless years of rehab and overcoming a pretty horrific knee injury. But it's just a testament to who she is as a person. She just constantly drove to be better, and to be healthy and to be strong. And I just have visual moments of watching this young lady run laps as she continued her rehab as the team prepared for the next weekend of, of Canada West. And while it wasn't easy, uh, if ever you need a great picture of perseverance, uh, Sarah Bazil was that picture. And then to watch her step on the field, I think it was probably a highlight maybe of my last five years of coaching to see her step on the field for the first time after that two and a bit year absence. And the whole team, the whole program, everybody around us that knows her story, just celebrated with her and we felt the joy that probably she felt um, just in returning to something she loved with a team that she loved so deeply and so this year has been a wonderful story to watch her have a full season last year she came back really towards the tail end of the regular season and got herself ready to make a contribution uh, during our run to nationals and, and the national championship game and winning canada west here is a young lady that uh, you know sort of serves our program in so many ways, but does it quietly and does it uh, without assuming anything, without a sense of entitlement, just gives constantly of herself. Uh, she does it on the field. She plays with reckless abandon, abandon. She loves going forward. She's very talented with the ball at her feet, but she defends so well uh, equally. And she's just become such a constant mainstay. And yeah, probably disappointed for her and for our team and also for me as a coach, not to have coached her longer during her five years. She's had a great five years, but it's been a story of ups and downs, of hardship and adversity. But what a character and what a young lady. And she is finishing her time as a Spartan so well, 
having had a really good season and contributing so well both on and off the field. She's a leader and she's got a bright future and we wish you all the best, Sarah. I feel like we've done this before, Charity, but I'm delighted that I get to do it again because uh, it means that you came back and you came back for obviously wanting to win and obviously wanting to give a great contribution on the field with a group of players that have journeyed together and hasn't always been easy and we talked about that last year. But what a joy for me uh, as a coach to reflect on the bigger picture of, you know, the, the special bond that we have in, in our friendships in the change room, the, the opportunities to grow as people and you've done that immensely to grow in terms of your influence and so it's been fun to watch you be a, a true senior or a senior senior uh, and to contribute on the field and to play sometimes through tough injuries to be willing to do the hard things and you know it's never easy being a number nine getting kicked all the time but you just you continued to battle and I was really blessed to watch you over the last probably 12 to 18 months blossom as a Spartan and you know put some tough stuff in early part of your career behind you and to really become that influential forward where you can keep us in possession you generate great chances and score some great goals um, but you link so well with your teammates and you become one of those forwards that, you know, obviously the opposition talks about and deals with. Um, and so it's a testament to just your perseverance and by coming back and giving it one more track or try um, and crack it uh, at winning. And that's not over yet, but uh, let's really believe that over the next few weeks we can end your career in such a special way. And I'm delighted that I got to coach you. I'm delighted that I got to watch you grow and persevere through some some good times, some hard times, and now some special times. So thank you for everything you've done as a Spartan. Yeah, Maddie Malnichuk, what a great career and certainly excited that she got to finish it off um, by playing such a prominent role, both as a leader on the field and off the field, uh, and then as one of the driving forces of how we play. Uh, we've always said how talented Maddie is and we've loved you know her athleticism coupled with talent coupled with a passion to play she plays in two or three different positions for us and has constantly just given her all and often played hurt or struggled through you know little nagging injuries and uh, but has always come good and I, I know last year at nationals she probably faced the burden of carrying some extra uh, responsibility on her shoulders as a midfielder just because you know Sierra was hurt and, you know, she was kind of that mainstay in midfield, but what a wonderful playoff she had. And it was really one of the reasons we were so successful uh, over the course of Canada West playoffs and then nationals. And this year has been really fun to watch her, you know, finish her season, finish her career in a way that says, how, how can I serve the program? Um, I'll never forget recruiting Maddie. I was actually out watching some other players and I saw this young lady, dynamic midfielder, and I just... I was determined I could do whatever I could to find out from her coach and then get connected to her mom and you know the, the rest is history. We convinced her to come and be that main midfielder for us and uh, I'm super proud that I got to coach you Maddie. I think you're a wonderful young lady and you got a bright future in front of you. Keep going for it uh, whatever you pursue whether it's soccer or your career or just making a difference in other people's lives. You're a, you're a terrific young lady. I'm so delighted that you were a Spartan.